So we're starting off mixing water and bleach together. I found these shells when I visited Maine and I was so excited that I could find sand dollars at the beach. Um, my husband found some of the sea urchins. They didn't actually turn all white. The sea urchins stayed green, but hopefully they just won't be stinky. So this is my first time painting sand dollars. Um, it definitely soaked up the paint a lot more than I thought it would. I'm starting off making a sunset. I had to add so much water to it to help it blend and it just soaked it all up. And it was at this moment that I realized that my colors are upside down for the sunset. Um, so I went ahead and flipped it around. I really wanted some of the shell to show through, but since I messed up, I went ahead and painted the entire shell. I wanted the details of the shell to show through more, so I added some yellow to it. And now I'm adding the mountain. It's going to be like a silhouette. And I'm just fixing up some of the lines now. Just adding a couple details, hoping that it looks okay. And it's done. You can see the paint on my hand. Sometimes I don't use palette. But this is how much the paint soaks through to the other side. And now I'm starting a different shell. This one I'm just doing the basic flower on the, the sand dollar that I see a lot of people do. I thought it'd be pretty cool to add some blue in the area because it kind of reminded me of water reflections, the, the details on the shell. And then also I'm going to go in and put green on the other parts because it also looks like a leaf. You'll see in the end. shell with some cool details super simple I just wanted to have a third one and here's all my magnets I made all of these just super random